Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Rogue and you are watching the Rogue Nation channel. Today I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial because you guys on the server, uh, the Rogue Nation server, you guys have been asking for a tutorial or how to set up a the mining rig that I had going, the, the massive one. Today this video is going to show the basic premise of how to set it up. Once you understand the basic premise you can go as big and as crazy as you wish. It, it, it's all controlled by a script. It, it's created by, I, I forget his name, um, but it's an absolutely amazing script. I've been looking for a script like this for ages, is, and I am absolutely amazed that this, this script exists and nobody knows about it. So, without further ado, let's get into showing you how to build it, how to set up the script, and then at the end of the video there is a half an hour time lapse of a 12 hour uh, mining rig yeah <laughs> it, it's huge right let's get into it shall we oh I'm waving again so what you're gonna need is everything that's on my hotbar blocks uh, conveyors pistons um, cargo containers is batteries, advanced rotors, connectors, any sort of power source, and a programmable block. So first of all, we need the power. The there's the power. We then what you need after that is you need to build it first which is the annoying part you have to you, you have to build it first before you can actually um, set up the script just make it look a little nice and neat piston to begin with you want to fully extend this piston and so let's just wait for that one whilst that's going we will put the windmill on. That's not the windmill. That's the windmill. Right. This part is very important. So, what you want to do here is place a conveyor and then you want to go 11 blocks in total. 11. Then you want to do a, con a conveyor. Then your advanced rotor. Another conveyor uh, junction. a pist Another piston. But the one thing you want to make sure here is that it doesn't reach this here. So 11 does make it perfect. Um, gives you plenty of room so you just don't hit anything your next thing you want to do is you want to do another conveyor and then you want to do a piston downwards and then from there you're going to want drills I find it best to do uh, five drills that's what I find best because if I reverse this, five drills takes it just behind the block. But for your, um, for tutorial's sake, we'll go off what the uh, what the actual wiki says to do. So it says to do four. So we'll do four. So that's all you have to do. That's it set up. Oh, and I forgot the um, connector. That's that's it. That's all it is. Piston, 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 a few conveyor blocks, and that's it. This is the most basic concept of the script. It's very, very easy, very, very simple. So now what you need to do is you need to go over to your or programmable block, edit, browse scripts, obviously, this is the script. I will post a link to the script in the description of the video. 
Uh, but this is just an amazing script. There are add-ons as well to this. So you, including just having the automatic mining platform, you, uh, you can also have the LCD screens that give updates. And there is also a wireless version of this as well. I'm not familiar with the wireless version. I prefer just using the wired block system that we've got here. So copy to editor. That's all we want. Make sure that you copy this. You need you need the default tag. You can change the tag to whatever you wish. The you do that in the editor. Uh, so not in this one, in the in the other editing section. I will show that later. But basically, th this gives you a diagram in words it's on how to set it up. So it's the advanced rotor, horizontal piston, and vertical piston, drill, basically. Very, very simple, very understandable. Here's also the names that you should be taking. They are backwards here. Uh, so I'll show you actually how they're set up. So as you can see here, getting configuration failed, n no vertical pistons, no horizontal, no drills, no rotor found. So what we first of all want to do is you come to your drills. Drill here, you want to paste that and then copy the whole thing and just rename all the drills to the same thing. The advanced rotor is just the advanced rotor. So it's just slash mine zero one slash advanced rotor. Cargo, the cargo container is same prefix, but cargo. Now, what you have to be aware of now that's the simple part. The hard part now is making sure you name the correct pistons. So if we go back to the yeah, programmable block, go back into edit, scroll down. I've missed it, I think. Yes, I have. I've scrolled past it. No, I haven't. Where is it? <laughs> I've lost it. Oh, here it is. Right. So we will start with the vert. We'll start with with this one, the inverted. So what this what this is telling us is is mine mine o one vertical piston inverted. So inverted. You you would think that this one's the inverted piston, but it's not. This is the inverted piston. In I don't I don't know why it does it this way, but this is the way it does it. So you would paste that in as invert piston. And then you would come over to the other one that shows facing downwards and call this one mine oh one vert and you would get rid of invert uh, the invert you just get the vertical there and you would want to name this piston piston one. The other piston is piston one as well because you've got the invert piston one and then you've got non invert piston one. And then for the horizontal piston, you can paste the same thing, get rid of VER and go H O R. Obviously not capitals. One. Okay, and then that should be everything that you need to rename. What you should now see is everything is renamed to mine O one. You can change this. It's in here. If you go into custom data, you can change the tag to whatever you want it to be. You can also change a lot of this stuff. I wouldn't. I would recommend leaving it all to how it is, is and not 
changing anything in because it just works perfectly without changing everything so as we've as we've uh, renamed everything to slash mine 01 what we want to do is we want to come to the programmable block scroll all the way down and go into uh, the argument and type in set and click run and it's already running because it's it's perfect it's detected that there's two vertical pistons and then there's one inverted it's detected that there's a horizontal piston it's detected that there's four drills that there's a rotor and then there's one cargo cargo module and then it says system components ready if that if you don't see exactly the amount of blocks that you have done then you've renamed something wrong somewhere or you're not using the correct version i would highly recommend using the latest version of this uh, of this um script because i was using the old one and sometimes it was a bit glitchy on finding the rotor it would say rotor not detected even though that the rotor would be named mine 01 or whatever my prefix was advanced rotor so what we're going to do now is it now shows you on the screen progress how much cargo it's currently holding and the e its ETA so this is going to take one hour and two minutes to fully de uh, fully descend this piston and fully extend this piston and it is also going to mine all the way out so for demonstration we will go back down here so as we've done set we need to run it again so we're in so it's all there you get rid of set and type in start and then click run it will change blue if everything's ready and it will start moving as you can see it will start rotating it will go round and and it will go all the way it will rotate all the way around its axis once it gets back round to its main point which is here it will then extend outwards and then it will go back anti-clockwise and then it once it comes back here it will extend again and go clockwise it's very good it's very easy to set up up oh, and if you have modded drills or modded pistons and i'm not sure about the modded pistons but if you use normal pistons and modded drills it works perfectly fine you can have this at any size you want as long as you name your drills my uh, what you're going to see in the the um in the time lapse after this video is I used seven vertical pistons and it worked completely fine and I had seven vertical pistons three horizontal pistons work completely fine no issues I would I wouldn't go more than three horizontal pistons purely because of clang at th at 30 meters is fully extended it started to shake a little bit and towards the end of the time lapse you'll see very quickly that there's a load of sparks as it gets to the end but yes this is this is the basic concept it will keep running forever uh, until it reaches is the until it reaches step 36 or whatever the final step is but as you can see, it's updating constantly. It, 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 I think it updates every 10 seconds. But everything is straight away put into the cargo container. It throws everything into this cargo container straight away. It's amazing. It works perfectly fine. There's no problems at all. As you can see now, it's doing its, extens it's, doing its extension what this is doing here is if you had more than one piston it wouldn't fully extend like what it's done here 
Uh, if you have the three, it will extend two point five meters for all of them, and then it will do five meters, is and then uh, so it will do two point five meters, then it will do seven meters, and then it will do the full ten. But it works perfectly fine. I've had no problems with it. I've been using this on the server, uh, the Rogue Nation server, and I've had no problems with it at all. So yeah. This is the miner. I hope you guys find this is useful, well, especially the guys on the server. I hope you all find this is useful in how to set up the miner. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you found this useful. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. And let's get into the time lapse now, shall we?